Welcome traders to another Tick Mill Earnings Report Preview with me, Patrick Monday. Before we jump into today's report, it's important that we adhere to the risk disclaimer the material provided is for information purposes only and should not be considered as investment advice. The views, information and opinions expressed by me are solely mine. They are not indicative or representative of those held by Tick Mill UK or Tick Mill Europe Limited. So jumping into Today's report, we are going to look at Moderna. Moderna report before the New York Open this morning. We're looking for an earnings per share of $5.21 on revenue $4.4 billion. I would say there is a whisper number on the street that uh, the earnings per share could come in as low as four ninety seven. Investors will be watching to see if Moderna can maintain its strong financial performance when the company reports today. Analysts expect Moderna to report its fifth straight quarter positive earnings per share as revenue continues to expand but at a slowing pace. Moderna's slower growth reflects in part the difficulty for smaller companies to post faster growth rates as if as it, it mushrooms in size essentially. Uh, Moderna's vaccine st- started being marketed in the U.S. as uh, Spikevax following its full approval for use in individuals 18 years of age and older by the FDA in late January 2022. The vaccine, which is administered as two-dose series, has been available under the FDA's EUA designation since December 2020. Booster dose of the vaccine for individuals 18 years of age and older is available under an EUA. In late March, the FDA approved a second booster dose of the vaccine for adults 50 years of age and older. Shares of Moderna have somewhat underperformed the market over the last year. Uh, The stock began the past year underperforming, but then started to outperform around the beginning of June 21. After rising sharply and reaching a peak in early August, the stock drifted downwards and shed most of its gain. It began to underperform again, starting around um, mid-January 2022. Moderna shares have provided a total return of actually negative 23.6% over the past year, uh, well below the S&P's total return of negative 1.5%. So let's take a look at some of the statistical trading patterns around the Moderna release. Shares have moved higher in the immediate aftermath of earnings, six out of the last 12 reports. On average, the stock moved up 2.5% in the first day of trading after the company reported earnings. Based on the previous 12 earnings releases, Moderna is more likely to trade lower one day after earnings for an average loss of 0.9%. Stock has moved higher one week after earnings, nine out of 12 of the previous reports. On average, the stock has moved up 2.9%. 2.9%. So let's see what the options market's telling us. Uh, options traders are pricing an 11.3% move on earnings and the stock has averaged a 7.8% move in recent quarters. From a flow and sentiment perspective, uh, notable buyer 1,654 contracts of the 160 calls expiring Friday, May 6. In general though, the options order flow sentiment is bearish. Investor sentiment going into the company's release has 43% expecting earnings beat. Uh, Moderna shares have drifted down negative 6.2% post-earnings announcement using the last 12 quarters of data. The average drift between the earnings announcement is 29.7%. The current drift represents a negative 0.1% standard deviation move. So with that in mind, let's take a look at what we could think about from a trading perspective. Pull up the charts here. So what I'm looking for with Moderna, I, I still think we have to make a uh, another low to complete this, this initial sequence here. So any post earnings buoyancy into the 160 area I'll be watching for bearish reversal patterns to engage on the short side, ultimately looking for a move down to test the $60 handle being the high volume load on the weekly uh, price chart. For me at this stage, only a close above the 187 handle would suggest that we have completed the current move to the downside 
and look for a move then up to test resistance into the next high volume load up to 233. But like I say, the higher probability scenario at this stage is we're going to drift a bit lower. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.